Giant's Mutation of Lead is not a good spell, but why you might ask? Well, let's break down the specifics. For 11 wins of magic, you reduce weapon damage by 30% and melee attack by 24. This roughly translates to a unit missing 50% more than they would usually. But there are a few problems here. While the melee attack debuff is admittedly pretty good, the duration is not long enough to really make a difference. A battle between infantry can last roughly 3 minutes, so if this spell reduces damage by 50%, this will only increase a unit's holding power by 20 seconds. And don't even think about debuffing high charge bonus units like cavalry, since higher charge bonus means more melee attack, and more melee attack means this debuff is basically useless. But okay, you might be thinking the melee attack is bad, but what about that weapon damage reduction? You can overcast the spell to bring that all the way up to 60%, and after that, on top of the melee attack debuff, this has to reduce basically all the damage, right? Well, unfortunately, not at all. If you look closely, it's base weapon damage that's getting debuffed, not armor piercing damage. And here's the thing, if you have a unit with a lot of normal damage, attacking a unit with 70 armor or more, about half of their damage is still going to be armor piercing, which means in even average situations, transmutation of lead upgraded will only give a 30% reduction off that weapon damage hit. This goes down all the way to 15% when you normally Normally cast it. But you should know, this isn't the only spell with this problem. Basically all buff and debuff spells will not get their value back if you just throw it on a unit. Jade Shield doesn't last long enough, Might of Heaven is far too expensive for a single target, Frost Blades also doesn't last long enough, and the list goes on and on and on. In general, most buff and debuff spells should have their duration tripled if they are to be even remotely viable. But for now, at least some serve a niche purpose for debuffing single entities, and for triggering the faction passive if the spell is cheap enough. Of course this doesn't apply to transmutation of lead, and that's why it's not very good. Now I like making short content, but that means a lot gets cut. If you want to see extra tips and also behind the scenes content, you can become a member using the link in the description.